Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined here by Dario, the little one, Wunsch from uh, Liquid. He's here uh, with us in the uh, Netherlands at the office of uh, EGS. We just uh, brought to you Sasse versus Stefano in the semifinals, where uh, Sasse is now finding himself sitting pretty in the finals and waiting for a challenger. In the other semifinals, we've got Kass versus Tarsen. To monster, monster Terrans. Kass has been a monster Terran for a long time now. And uh, uh, Tarsen recently showing his mettle in the Home Story Cup, where he finished, I believe it was fourth? Fourth, yeah. That's pretty impressive in Home Story Cup, considering the lineup. Yeah, definitely. And uh, he went to the loser bracket relatively early, and he just kept fighting his way up and up and up. Even and though he went partying and everything. It was <laughs> crazy. He didn't care. But, but to be fair, uh, he says that it makes him play better. Yeah. And yeah, he says you can play better. He can play better with a hangover, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, I, d I don't know how I think about that, but uh, <laughs> if he says it, you know, maybe it works for him. Yeah, and, I uh, mean, stuff works different for East Europeans in some ways. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> and eventually he got uh, defeated by MC. Uh, he still took the first map, 1-3, but uh, I felt like MC figured him out a little bit and came with a lot of... A lot of different kinds of strategies. He didn't do the same thing twice, MC. No. It's a very scary player. Um, we're going to be showing you soon game one of Cus uh, versus Tarson. But first, I have a little uh, surprise for you guys. Um, if you go to followgrubby.com and you comment on the latest news item, which is the GSS updates and brackets. It's at the top of the news sticker. You make an account, post a comment, I love GSS or something like it, and you will be entered into a lucky draw to win a grubby jersey at the end of the day. So uh, if that's something that uh, floats your boat, go to the account, uh, go to the website, followgrubby.com, make an account and uh, state your praise. So, uh, Way to buy friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also say you love me and you, that you think I'm handsome and Dario <laughs> too. <laughs> That that was not official contest rules, but anyway. But we would appreciate it anyways. I know he does. He's really vain. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're going right to the game now. So enjoy the game. I almost feel like switching just for time. <laughs> Maybe music. you can probably... Oh no, then you're going to get banned if you tamper with some files. Yeah, no, but... But you can you just play it in the background. That's true. But they don't have it on that uh, funny Betonet sound player. The one that has all the Diablo music and uh, StarCraft uh, 1. Uh. They don't have it on there yet. But you do have the collector's edition, right? Yeah. It's on the soundtrack CD. All right. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. But it feels a little bit of a, like a betrayal. <laughs> that's that music. But You're going to be stimming your stalkers. <laughs> and obviously, another lucky guy. No, I really think Blizzard should put techno music as protest music. Yeah. That would be cool. It's, uh, it totally fits them. We Our music is a little bit too softy. And most protests are techno heads anyway, uh, myself included. So, Blizzard, if you're listening, a light recommendation. Thank you. <laughs> so, TVT, Taldorim Alter. Tarzan Cuss, what do you think? How does this game get played out? Mass Vikings? Mass Ravens? Battle Cruisers? Mass Metal? Mass Metal? Metal. Really? Yeah. Is that quite standard here? Not buying? Um, it's not that standard in Europe, yes, I guess. Uh, in Korea, Metal is definitely dominant. And I think Cass is actually still playing Marine Tanks. So, considering that, forget what I just said, it's probably being going to be pretty standard Marine Tank play. Okay, Maybe a Banshee has sword, but uh, without cloak. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, is there a lot of variation in the TVT styles in Europe? Because I remember you had that Marine King Prime style. Marine yeah. Marauders, trade base, try to stim in at exactly the right time. Is there anyone who represents that style in Europe? Um, I did for a while. <laughs> okay. But I stopped doing it and I switched to the total metal. Um, neither Tossin nor cast are doing some Marine King Prime so it has become more and more unpopular in general. Uh, players like Cloud, they are going for very Marine heavy, but not so much Cass and, and Dawson. So we've got a tech lab coming on here for the 
barracks of uh, Kass that tells me he's probably want to do a Reaper scout. Mm -hmm. Starting there with the Reaper. Still doesn't know where his opponent is. Scouted. Oh, I thought he was going to scout cross map. Yeah. Isn't it weird that this is a faster route than under here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm. I don't trust. I the... usually go past this tower anyway. Yeah, manually. I mean, it's it's nice to get the tower, right? To see yeah. stuff. You just feel more. Maybe it's like 0 0.1 seconds slower. Yeah. But you yeah. get a nice big vision. Uh, quick factory for Tarzan with just a few Marines going for a quick starport. And uh, got an expansion and a Reaper, so pretty deviating play. Second Reaper coming out. Mm, I like for, that a lot. Uh, oh man, thinking of Reaper, I loved what you did on that game on Shattered Temple. Which, where, against Show. Oh, the. Um, where you stole the tech lab? Yeah. That was so sick. If only you. Well, too bad you didn't win the game, but. Yeah. That was yeah. so sick. How did you do that? When I saw it, I was just freaking out. <laughs> well, I always do a barracks scout now because I feel like I. Because I play metal anyways, I only get four marines, and then I use my barracks for scouting. Was it a bit of a coincidence that you took his tech lab, or? Uh... Well, I know it, it tends to happen in close air position. Yeah, really cool. And uh, then you had a reaper too. You you actually made a reaper out of it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. So cool. But I, I screwed up the macro, and then it didn't, didn't really help. But anyways, going on this game, we look banshee. at a banshee. No cloak, no second gas. See how I called that. And a helion. You said that? Yeah, didn't weren't you listening? <laughs> Maybe Banshee without cloak. <laughs> wait, wait, you said anything yet in this cast? <laughs> you got such a big ego. Uh, it's not true. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering bay, three barracks, no second refinery here either, and uh, expansion done. Going for orbital command. So Kassar's gonna take the lead if he doesn't get any damage done to himself, mm -hmm. but that's pretty much impossible. If a banshee comes in, he's, I, he's gonna kill some marines, right? Yeah, what I'd like to see Whoa. is um, not a banshee harass on SCVs, but an aggressive banshee attack together with marines and hellions. Oh, that would work quite nice uh, against a small amount of marines. Actually, Kass has nearly nothing. Yeah. Three reapers and two marines. But Where are the reapers? Oh, there they are. That's funny, reapers and hellions kill each other pretty quickly. Yeah. But I would say probably the hellion has the advantage, right? Uh, yeah, if you micro it, because it has more range, uh, it attacks slowly. So basically you can take one hit for one hit. But if the Reaper in a direct battle actually wins, because he just has such a fast attack speed. Yeah, pretty really high damage too. This Banshee, oh, and we see again that epic turret, missile turret placement by Kass. We saw this before in uh, TSL. Kass against, was it Nada? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he just had turrets in the perfect places at the perfect timing, taking down drops, scouting stuff, and he has got that again. Mm -hmm. He's like, I've got turrets ready everywhere. That match, he actually went home killing nothing. Yeah. Um, He's got everything covered. It's so smart uh, how in his main, he has two turrets, and only one of uh, and the... Uh, um Line. So he's basically just blocking off a banshee, yeah. building a wall. So why, he would can't you, why would you make one here and one here, right? Yeah. Because now the banshee would have to go all the way around and that's way too late. Then marines can just intercept. Yeah, beautiful uh, planning there by him, really. I mean, that can all be planned out just by studying timings, cranking out a lot of games. And uh, that worked out really well for him. So we kind of see Tarzan is not quite getting the kills that he hoped he would get on banshee. I just said it's almost impossible to go get away with... Uh, zero deaths against Banshee, but that's exactly what happened. Yeah, and Kass is looking so strong now. I am afraid for Torsten to just all well, die against the timing attack, to be honest. Um, he's not gonna have a... Is he even gonna have tanks up? Yeah, you still see a lot of Hellions coming out from Tarzan. And he got Blue Flame, okay. That's oh, yeah. pretty decent against this, which... It's not Mar Let's not call it Marine King style. Yes, it's also Marines and Marauders, but it's he's playing it out very differently than uh, Marine King does. So this is Kass style. Against this style, Marine Marauder, yeah. Blue Flame Hellions are pretty okay, but as soon as you've got all those upgrades, Combat Shield, uh, he already has Stim Pack, Attack Upgrade, they're going to just marauders. roll over the Hellions, yeah. especially those Marauders. Yeah, it comes down to angles. If you just can go in, into a... Um, well, um, basically... Straight fight where you just have two armies clashing, Hellions don't do so much damage. But if they can manage to go into the flanks, they will make short work out of Marines. Just to the flash damage. But it is very difficult to control and the and unit... what does he have to kill those Marauders? Yeah, nothing. <laughs>
That's the problem. Um, he needs to survive a little bit longer, but Cass seems to be reluctant to be moving out, and Tawson gets the extremely quick third base. This command center says to me, I know I will have a very difficult time mm -hmm. if you attack now. Yeah. But this is a good way for me to try to get back into the game. Yeah, um, that's what you need to do if you play Metal. If you play Bio, you can do Harass and try to do damage. But with Metal, except for Blue Flame Halion drops, you can't do anything to get ahead except getting more bases than okay. your opponent. So he, he kind of relies on having defensive position too with these tanks. Yep. Now, what do you think about this solo tank Harass? <laughs> 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 the Hullions are not improving. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty tactical tank move. This is something Tarzan probably has been practicing uh, a lot. Oh no, maybe it's rally to those Hellions. Let's, where are you going? Oh, now he noticed. Okay, he noticed. But can he get back in time? Yeah, he should be fine. And actually third for Kass as well. So he's actually quicker with that. A little bit. Two more factories coming. Tarzan following the allegedly the Korean style, like Tarzan said. Uh, sorry, like Tilo said. <laughs> With uh, metal on this map and yeah. uh, Kass should be transition. having a should be a transitioning into metal himself. Oh. No, nope. more barracks. Yeah, just Six stays barracks. true to it and gets a second starport even. Six barracks, two starports. Interesting. Look at that wall off he made. Wow, yeah, pretty funny. Oh, it's so good against Hellions. I need to do that because yeah. if uh, there are Hellions being dropped uh, in the top of the base, he can't get ca into ca the can even Can you go to the left? No, oh. like nothing. Wow. He can't do anything. That's really cool. That's what you should actually do if you play metal, especially too. Just block off your bases like that. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. Oh, gosh. Oh, like there too. Like. Here as well, yeah. All that needs to happen, and he's probably going to make one here too <laughs> in time. All that needs to happen though is he needs to raise those Splatty Post in time if yeah. that happens. Uh, all ha Wow, I didn't know you could get so many Helios <laughs> in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised sometimes what the 3D graphics can do. Uh, yeah. Um, not so much going on right now, but Cass should be positioning himself on the open map now because he needs to gain superior positioning and start attacking. Uh, you are not, you don't want to face 200, 300 with Bio against Metal. And. Uh He's getting turn ship weapons, Cuss. Oh, and is what he do we see here? Banshees. Battle cruiser. Battle cruisers? Holy moly. Oh yeah. One battle cruiser. And this one, okay, there's got the fusion core. This one will probably want to get a tech lab too. There we go. This is a reactor, so he's getting Vikings and battle cruisers from three starports. Pretty cool. Uh what is that? Weapon and that's refit. Oh, that's the Yamato cannon, right? Yeah. Kind of a weird name, Weapon Refit. Like, all he can shoot is uh, Yamato Cannon from now on. <laughs> pew, pew. Um, so nice. Uh, just having a few battle cruisers will be forcing Torsten to get a lot of anti-air, and you can make tanks on siege, and then you can run a fire and completely steamroll your it's opponent. It's perfect, because uh, even Thors, they're probably pretty crappy against battle cruisers. Mm -hmm. But does battle cruisers are crappy against Thors too? No. They should win, right? Yeah. Easily. Oh, going in here with a big bio force. Army is out of position from Tarzan. Oh no, siege up over there. That's not going to help him. This orbital command will die immediately. Two tanks here taking some nice casualties. Hellions came from behind. Still a sizable force left. Pretty softened up, but as long as they don't die, they will do the damage that they need to. SCVs going down here. He has to run from those tanks. He cannot even beat them at this point anymore, even though they're on siege. But he has to be careful, Tarzan. He can't just move in with them. Oh, he kills a starport. That is going to be so big. No oh, more huge. Vikings. And what a key kill. I mean, he could come in here, kill anything. SCV, supply depots. No, he goes for the starport. Why? Because he's making battle cruisers. Excellent choice there. Excellent prioritization uh, there. And the starport is being remade right away. But that takes a huge toll. Reacted starport getting taken out. And he only has his base now. Getting a fourth, or should I say third? <laughs> Well, is he moving his main now? No, oh, he's building just a new yeah. command center. So Rebuilding the second. Yeah, but it's toss. Oh, that, that was a Hellion drop, but I don't know if it did anything. Not, yeah, not quite sure what happened. We do see Tarson end up killing a total of 16 workers, so some workers got taken out sometimes. Doesn't look too unsaturated, so yeah. I guess Kass in perfect shape still. And Where are the battle cruisers? What does Tarzan know? He sees Bio. 
Yeah. But he doesn't really know what happened afterwards. And all he saw come in was a Bioforce. Here, still Bioforce. Doesn't know anything about all Maybe the Maybe it's some Hellion Store stuff. stuff that we didn't realize. But ah, yeah. Yeah, we don't know about the temporary Oh, visit. okay, now he sees. I think seeing a Battlecruiser is a pretty good hint that <laughs> your opponent is making Battlecruisers. Yeah. And there's one, two? Two attack upgrades just finishing for uh, Kass. One Battlecruiser here, second Battlecruiser there. And uh, third and fourth on their way. Pretty cool style we see here from Kass. Can't say I've seen a lot. Bio with Battlecruiser and Viking. No, no, doesn't happen too often. And, uh, turrets one, one are not going to. They're not going to be in time. The new turrets either sieging up. Um, well, I guess what can he do? Because if he doesn't, Bio is going to roll him over. But now he just dies slowly. <laughs> Tarson doing a little smile there. <laughs> wow. That's a GG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, quick re-evaluation. Kass with the superior opening. Um, yeah. Banshees, which don't do damage. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Zero kill Banshee doesn't help you to propel yourself into the game with a big advantage. No. Those four excellently placed missile turrets, perfect timing, perfect placement. And uh, just the really the quicker expansion, the quicker third yeah. again. And then the tech switch. Yeah, he had, smart play. he had supreme economy from the beginning to the end. And Thompson couldn't get in there. The per perfect building placement for Kaz. No, at no time of the game, Kaz was in danger. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know, Tarsen dominating. Tarsen needs to not play Banshee so often. Yeah, does he does it a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, sometimes he overdoes it a little. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's uh maybe against another player Kass won't make four missile turrets right away that fast, but uh it could be that he had a read on uh on Tarsen. Who knows? Maybe we can uh Ask him sometime. Yeah. But uh, in general, Cass is just known for being very safe. Very steady and safe player, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we already got the second game here going up for uh, Cass versus Tarson. The map will be Terminus SE. And let's get into the game. So once again, guys, uh, I'll be giving away a grubby jersey uh, this evening all you need to do is go to www.followgrubby.com and post in the latest news item which is called GSS updates just uh, the most topmost news item and uh, say something nice uh, about what you enjoyed this event something like uh, I love GSS and uh, we'll enter you into a sweepstake at the end of this day when the tournament is over and I've had a chance to uh, eat a little <laughs> What about people who post bad things? Bad things? Um, give me your address anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send something nasty. They'll be a present too. Yep. So, uh, close positions on uh, on Terminus. Guess that uh, will produce probably a little bit of a more short game than a long position could be. But if both players play defensively, we could be going to two or three bases right away. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty interested to see how, uh, who will make the first aggressive move? Because in a turn versus turn, playing safely could get you by quite well into the late game. And the more defensively you play, the harder it is for your opponent to really force an advantage right here, right now. So when you have a player like Goody, it could be that the games go on for very long, even if the opponent is like, oh, I want to finish it quickly. You yeah. can't, you need to be patient, right? Uh, yeah, one needs to be patient in TVT, but um, one should constantly testing your opponent's defenses without risking too much. Because if you find a single hole, you can do a ton of damage with a low amount of units and get far ahead a lot. But the important part is then not to over hesitate and then be hesitant to just go for a main attack to finish the game, but try to get uh, further ahead and get better positioning and just starve out your opponent. You're not going to kill a Terran. TVT, if he has three bases established and metal, then you can only try to, to do little needle attacks and kill units by units, but don't do not do a frontal attack. So when you're starting a turn versus turn, are you thinking, how am I going to grab uh, an advantage in the first eight minutes of the game? Mm -hmm. It's very important, right? Um, for me, it's about 
How would you uh, expand to the third and second, the second and third base quicker than my opponent without endangering myself? That is my okay. attitude towards um, Terran vs. Terran. Other okay. people just want to get a uh, slower second base, but then d do damage, kill a lot of SCVs with a drop or Banshees. And then there's people who just do the solid two base, like Cass, not taking any risks, not going for third, not going for, for one base, and just having a solid mid game, and then they have any option for the late game. So this game, they're both going for a factory, precisely the same timing, and uh, looks like they'll both be doing a Banshee opening. Pretty good choice for this map, perhaps. Oh, looks more like a blue flame drop. Oh, yeah, he's, he wants that tech lab on the factory. And what do we see coming out of there? Doesn't have 150 gas yet. Perhaps that's what he's waiting for. But no, no starboard, though. So, Alien coming out. Oh. Re reactor. Hmm. Alien, Marine. I confuse. Um, Let's think a moment. Tarson doing pretty much the oh, same opening as last yeah, game. I know. Um, Sho told me that um, opening. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you get you get blue flame, and then you switch your um, factory and your barracks, and then you just get like six or seven Hellions and try to do um, run by against the Terran who gets a really fast expansion. So I think he's going for that. So for now he'll be making reacted Marines, and then later he switches when the upgrade's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. It's hmm. pretty nice. You get a lot of Marines, a lot of Hellions really quickly with having your own expansion up very nicely as well. But Tarson coming in here for a poke. Notices there isn't that much to defend. That bunker is not full. Both two Hellions, but uh, Tarsons are a little bit hurt. He did take out, well, a few units, a few Marines. And now Kass should probably be safe. Tarson heads back, maybe repair those Hellions. And he's got a read now on his opponent, mm -hmm. a little bit. He sees Marines, he sees Hellion, and he sees expansion. Can't really guess what's in the main yet, though. Yeah, but I think from what he has seen from the timing of the CC and still having Hellions, he should know there's no Banshees. He also saw the reactor, which is quite a big information. It's even more gas being invested. So no, yeah, he, he pretty much knows there are no Banshees. And no turrets this time for Cass. Yeah, so it's going to hurt more than before. And I think you're right. He knows no Banshees because uh, he didn't make an engineering bay at home. He is making a Viking though, so it's a little strange. Well, maybe he's not entirely sure and yeah. he knows the Banshee does so much damage, he can't just be safe. Oh, that is such good kiting by a Torsen. Yeah. Oh, one hit on the supply depot. Oh, come on, Better one get more. Away with one more. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh! Oh no! That was not worth it. No, getting a little bit bold, but the damage was dull. Of course, overall, it was very worth it. Yeah, yeah, but the last shot, getting one more Marine for dying Banshee, yeah, that, that was not worth it. Yeah, of course, it's it's hard to say. Maybe go in and get away, and we call him the greedy master, and now <laughs> he overstretched just a little bit too much. I thought he was dead three times already, but uh, he stretched it that far. 13 kills on that Banshee. I think about uh, 10 or nine SCVs and three, four Marines, so very nice result. Got his own blue flame now, and Tarson is sitting on six Helions, and they do have blue flame, gearing up with the medivac and some Marines in front of Kass base, and he actually did put his Marines in the bunker, and he doesn't have a very big army. What is he doing? Going for a quick third? Of course, he uh, suffered huge losses. Blue Go flame drop coming for the blue flame drop. Won't be that... Pain. Oh, more SCVs coming in. Now it will be a bit better. Oh. Hellions coming in from the side. Nice. Use the medivac to drop them over. Medivac coming here. Not much use for the medivac there. He should just have kept it back. Not that many kills on. Oh. Uh, oh, dangerous. Looking into Tossin's space. The Hellions did quite a lot of kills there. They're lining up beautifully. Can he get a big shot on them? Not oh. yet, not yet. One. One hit, one more hit. Okay, that was, that was decent. They killed equal workers now. Interesting. And two more Hellions coming in. They will oh. not get a kill. And he's basing. Ah, that was a bit, bit of a pity. Yeah. 
Oh, um, pretty even, but Cass, his third base probably got delayed because uh, tr Helen's trouble in there, but now it's building again. So let's look how we're doing. 31 SCVs for Cass, 23 SCVs for Tarson. That's on account of his uh, expansion having been later. Mm -hmm. And we've got six Helions for Tarson, a Medivac, a Viking, two tanks and four Marines, and Kass just has two tanks and 14 Marines. So Kass is closer to like the, the most standard army of Marine tank, uh, is also ahead in workers and is ahead with that third base, so... Mm. Hmm. But will he be able to defend it? The army is superior for um, Tarson right now, but it's not gonna last long. The production facilities are much closer for Kass, and I think he has a lot more up too. So, oh, siege mode is not done for Tarson. Siege mode, 60% for Kass, 10, 20% for Tarson, and he actually gives it up. He will not try to break through there. That's a little bit weird. Oh, oh. missed a little bit of a drop there. Sorry about that. Killed three workers so far. Oh my god. Killing a lot of workers now. Killing Viking a tank. Went down. Killing a Viking. Five Marines here. Medivac still alive. And a lot of workers being killed back by a Helion drop in the main base here. And there's an action here at the expansion. Stuff going on everywhere. Helions in the natural of Helions Cast 2. The natural. There's too much action to follow here. Um, almost, yeah, no mining for Cast right now. That, oh my god, that expansion is gonna it's go gonna down. Die. He just in time cancelled the orbital command, got some money back there. Uh, Helions everywhere. Now a little bit getting control over that situation. Tarson still got an aggressive position here at Cass's base. He better siege up lest he suffer the consequences. Marines here seem to have been taken down. Helions came to the rescue. We've got uh, 29 workers now for Tarson. It keeps flipping around. Mm -hmm. Gus with just 27, pretty equal. Our army value also quite equal. Both players uh, forgetting to put SCVs back into the gas uh, due to all the confusion. I cannot really blame them. Now Cass notices. Does Tarson do so as well in his natural? Yeah. Uh, um, One still, SCV here. Still two missing. And a big attack coming here from... <laughs> actually, they're both dropping stuff all over the place. Helion shooting a tank. Not the best idea, but they're close here. And they can't get shot back. Hmm. One more drop coming in. Tarsen's army looks a little bit thin. He needs to be uh, careful not to overcommit now, considering what Cass has to offer. Tarsen now pulling ahead in the supply count. He's ahead in army and in workers, going for an aggressive move here, both trying not to give each other any breathing space at all. As we see here, an SCV trying to repair the medivac. Four Helions going to be dropped back into the base, and will Cass be ready this time? Oh, he's still so scared about those attacks Perfect coming from timing the for Tarsen. Just as Gus is moving out, this barracks knows nothing in the air here to spot him. And uh, oh my God, Tarsen moves Tarsen knows so much more that moving is, out here. Fight! That was so unnecessary by Tarsen. He should just sit back in his natural while doing a drop like that. He is in danger of losing his natural now. He will do a lot of damage with his Hellions, but can he hold? Yeah, if he had just maintained defensive position on that, it would have been so beautiful for him. But perhaps he w he sent that attack, in fact, to lure Kass out uh, or to keep his attention away. But what he did not know was that Kass was already on the way and that he would meet him in this fateful engagement, which did not turn out well for him. Now being forced to pull SCVs, getting up real close and friendly with the tanks, losing all his SCVs, uh, even though his Helions are doing a lot of damage. There is enough for Kass now to take that out decisively, and at the same time, Tarson's third base will not quite bear any fruits, just like Cass's, and he needs to lift off his second base and is left with nearly no army. I think you're right, Tilo. That was a very bad move out by uh, Tarson. I mean, that base of Cass would look almost the same with no SCVs, considering everything was moving out anyways. But now Cass is ahead. Anyways, I think because Tarzan will have a hard time recovering to get an equal army count and even move out there at all. You don't want to go down a ramp where siege tanks are sitting yeah, to wait seems, for you. It seems really difficult for him to devise a plan now where he can move out, perhaps land some Vikings, pull he some He tries SCVs. to get a Banshee. Uh, still more Vikings. Is he going to land the Vikings next to the tanks? There's nearly no anti-air, so he's quite oh, comfortable. He range, but that tank gets taken. Oh my god, the Hellions go down. Yeah, he was trying to inch close there with the tank, but it got scanned and taken out. 
And uh, Kass is able to lick his economical wounds while Tarson is forced to stay on just one base. Excuse me, did I say one? I meant 1.1 bases. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Banshee coming out for Tarsen now, though that will help to clean up here, but are there more Marines coming in to help? Or Cass, I'm not sure. Yeah, he's not sending much reinforcements Oh, but yet. he's gonna Once have Vikings. Once this gets there. Once this gets there, it'll yeah. be really bad for Tarsen. That'll be, that'll be uh, the nail in the coffin for Tarsen. Not really, it, it's more gonna be like... One Marine? Yeah. One Marine and two Vikings. One Marine, two Vikings. He might actually be able to take out the Vikings. And then still clean up with a Banshee. Yep, both Vikings taken out. Banshee should be coming in any second now. Where is the Banshee? Oh my god. Where is the Banshee? This control by Tarsen losing almost all his Hellions. Yeah, there was a huge, huge loss there. Because uh, now that this Banshee is out, he needed those uh, fast units to chase stuff and basically save anything he has in order to be efficient uh, with his units. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, a third base coming again for Cass. Banshee gets deflected by a Viking and yeah, Tarsen sitting on his 1.1 bases. <laughs> Not even having an orbital up yet. He better transfer these SCVs right away. He sees it the same time as I do, sending them to the second and or third base. Huge supply deficit for Tarson. He is ahead with his third, though, so ironically, given enough time, he would have a better economy momentarily. But uh, losing two Helions here, huge tank force. He needs to siege up. Two tanks, not quite enough yet to hold all those tanks, but uh, he does have air superiority for what it's worth. And that one Banshee actually serving as a deterrent here. And. Uh, Let's see how the worker counts are. Tarson with 28, Kass with 40 workers. So mm -hmm. this uh, perceived economical lead will not actually even uh, turn out to be reality The only for good, Tarson. good thing for Tarson right now is I think Kass is way more mined out um, than Tarson yet. So he will be running out. Well, okay, the main of Tarson is actually way more mined out. Only the natural is more depleted. So even that speaks for Kass. Never mind. Looking pretty crim for this Tarsen. Spe this speaks for Tarsen. This mule here is <laughs> not working. I don't know if it speaks for Tarsen th that Cass doesn't really have to care about the mule. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it not. It, I guess it doesn't. 20 food ahead now for Cass. Raven coming out. Where's the Banshee? Oh, quite funny. Getting some kills. No cloak though. So just getting uh, as many SCV kills as he can. 34 SCVs for Tarson, 36 now, and 37 for Kass. So that equaled it up, but unfortunately he's hopelessly outgunned in the army department. More, about double the food, uh, double the supply for army for Kass. Mm -hmm. Just these two lonesome tanks, three, four tanks. What what else is coming? A lot <laughs> of Hellions, some tank, and Vikings. Yeah, the so production facilities don't really look too too well in Tarsen space either, only three factories, starport. No barracks, oh, one barracks. And uh, got two starports here with a factory and two barracks. Another barracks a factory at the natural too. Yeah, that force is pretty... Oh yeah. And uh, fourth base here, so cast looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Crazy game here, scouting the far reaches of the map. Just wanted to know, is he up against a secret base? The problem for Torsten is, even if he starts killing a lot of SCVs now, as long as he has to trade military units for it, he will never keep up with Kass, Kass's main army, and he will eventually be overrun. Yeah, I think you're right. He would need to have an army which, like, counters Kass's army, but that would mean, like, battlecruisers at this point. Yeah. Not even. Look at the Ooh. Viking count. Well, <laughs> five ravens and ten battlecruisers yeah. would do pretty well. <laughs> That would do pretty well against a lot of things. Yeah. I don't know if Tarsen will be able to defend that a lot. It's nice how you're trying to keep it exciting. <laughs> <laughs> don't know who's going to win here. Uh, tank sieged up, so that's a contain. Able to uh, fire oh, his force nice. somewhere. Getting some kills there. Yeah, many workers being killed. Mm, yeah, let's say Kass lost about seven workers there, probably. It helps, but... Yeah, it's not so much about workers anymore if you have four orbitals. Yeah. 
And now the position for Cass. Oh, no, a little bit of Miss Micro by Cass um, focusing the Hellions, which happens automatically instead of pounding down on the tanks. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice thing to know. Because they're closer and they're all aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You always need to to select tanks, those tanks. Yeah, I think a lot of people underestimate the amount of manual micro you should be doing with siege tanks. Mm. Always mm. shoot in the middle of cluster of units, shooting the bane links when they're flying towards you. Yeah, yeah. Tanks are look easy, but you have to do some stuff with them. Hey, come on, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Just I, I said <laughs> some stuff. Okay, okay, some stuff. It's not like war, it's crazy. He's got <laughs> such good siege tank control. Yeah. Well, I they guess don't that does happen on occasion. Yeah. Lots of air battles here, of which uh, Cass came out the victor. This uh, CC being landed here. And uh, Tarzan, funnily enough, with uh, a secret expansion, good thing to do at this point. But what kind of army does he have? Lots of SCVs, never good to be forced to use your SCVs. <laughs> and he's moving out here. Siege up first by Cass. Luckily, the siege tanks attack the SCVs, and uh, Tarzan has very nice life. Completely crashes the tanks. Oh. And they, wow, that's very surprising. All those SCVs. Uh, soaked up a lot of damage and very nice life uh, left on those tar Tarzan tanks. Huge amount of uh, Vikings for Cass, but the tank amount, we've got 11 for Tarzan and just 3 for Cass. Yeah, this is... Oh, and the Battlecruiser. <laughs> oh, oh, lol. <laughs> Now, is that an Hydra GG leaving uh, uh, when you see one battle cruiser? I don't think it is, is it? No, it's not really an Hydra GG. What could he have done? Look at that Viking count and yeah, that's just again the 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 counter to your units, which countered my units. Uh, yeah. So many tanks. Tarson really knew he was hanging uh, around by the skin of his teeth. He needed massive amounts of numbers of uh, of ground units and. He just wasn't comfortable enough to be like, am I still doing the right thing? Yeah. Or can I like diversify my attention and go for some uh, aerial domination or counter to, to battle cruiser or whatever? Uh -huh. that, wasn't, uh, that was neither here nor there. So excellent play by Cass. Uh, he took away the, the smallest risk of him possibly losing. He could have invested more in ground army, but he said, you know what? I know what you're going to do. And uh, I'm going to make one battle cruiser and make yeah. you GG. I love the single battle cruiser and TVT. Um in general, general, what I've been thinking about is, in every matchup, I'm gonna start building fusion cores. Just build a fusion core at a at a spot which is hopefully being scouted, and then and not build a battle cruiser. <laughs> so he wow. he thinks, oh my god, there's probably like five starports somewhere. I need to pump out so many Vikings now or corruptors, and then I just roll them over with like bio tank. You know what I should say now? I should say, that doesn't work. And then you're like, I'm TLO. <laughs> it works. Because it sounds like the kind of thing that you would do. Well, it does work, right? I mean, it uh, messes with your opponent's head. If they scout. Yeah, well, I build it at a spot. Like, oh, like which right is in not, the middle of the Which map. is not too obvious, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, ah... Okay. Oh.